good morning students as we have studied about sentences in the previous chapter now we are going to start with chapter number 2 subject and predicate so let's begin every sentence is made up of two parts the first part of the sentence that names what the sentence is about is called the subject The second part of the sentence that says something about the subject is called the predicate. For example, a policeman appeared on the scene. Now, if you see the sentence very carefully, a policeman is underlined. Appeared on the scene is also underlined. But the first part is the subject, and the second part, what we are talking about, policeman, is called as the predicate. The subject often says. who or what performs the action that the verb refers to in statements the subject is usually placed before the predicate look at this sentence this story is very interesting this story is the subject is very interesting is the predicate but sometimes for the sake of emphasis this order may be reversed the second sentence says Ranjit stood in the corner of the room. This is a normal order, where Ranjit is the subject. Stood in the corner of the room is the predicate. But sometimes the order often changes for the sake of emphasis. If you see the second part, it says, "In a corner of the room stood Ranjit." Now here, first the predicate will come, and it will be followed with the subject. this is the reverse order where we are emphasizing first on the predicate and second is the subject so in order to find out the subject in imperative sentence it will be always helpful that we know that the subject is always you but it is implied and not stated in questions and exclamations the word order is slightly changed and the subject is not placed first so in order to find out the subject it is also helpful to write these sentences as statements here we can see in imperative sentences the subject is always you but it is implied as i told you earlier look at these two sentences the first says wait outside second take this medicine every 4 hour these sentences actually means what here in the first part you can see that you is not written but it is implied implied means hidden we can write these sentences as you must wait outside you should take this medicine every 4 hour it is understood that talking about you now here are few example of question statements exclamations where it says that have they bought the books which is a question it can be written in a statement form if you see these statements carefully you will be able to do this exercise what you have to do over here is to underline the subject in the following sentences i hope you have enjoyed till we meet tomorrow thank you